Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to make sheets morph out of buttons in the bottom bar. I'll also show you how to determine the sheet size in SwiftUI. Let's get started. I have two views for this demonstration. For the parent view, I'll start with a navigation stack, then place a waste stack inside it. I'll use a heart symbol for this example. Here is a tip for you. SF symbols work just like text in SwiftUI, so you can use system fonts to adjust their size. And you can use foreground color to change their color. Let me copy and paste this code for two more hearts. You can also add a navigation title if you'd like. Now it's time to add a button to the toolbar. We'll morph the sheet out of this button. You can push the button to the right by placing a toolbar spacer above the toolbar item where we placed the button in it. Let's set up our child view. We'll open this view as a sheet on top of the parent view. Again, I'll start with a navigation stack, then continue with a view stack. Inside this view stack, you can add multiple items. I'll use a placeholder text here, copy it from a lorem ipsum. I'll add some padding and a navigation title here. Additionally, I'll add a button to close the sheet when we are done with it. Let's go back to the parent view and define a state variable to hold the sheet status. We'll pass the sheet presented value to the child view to control it. And let's quickly fix the preview by passing a constant value for now. You can check out the link in the description below to learn how to work with previews more efficiently. You can place the sheet just below the navigation stack in the parent view. If you want to control the sheet size, you can use presentation details like me here. Lastly, I want to open the sheet when I tap this button and close it when I tap to the check mark. As you can see, the sheet opens from the bottom as usual, but we want to morph the sheet out of this button. To achieve this, we need a namespace. Just below the toolbar item, use match transition source. Give it an ID of your choice and a namespace. Then just below the sheet, use the navigation transition modifier with zoom option with the same ID and the same namespace. From now on, SwiftUI will know these two elements are transitioning to each other, so it will produce a smooth animation. That's it. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video to support us. Leave a comment below if you have any questions.